Did you say take or tick? Win, lose, or points? See, I'm not a gambler. I don't know. Uh, but I'm good at blackjack. Okay? Uh, see, if you play and you make your own decisions, you don't depend on somebody else, right? Um, is it raining or not? They tell me it's raining now. See, I was at that Tennessee game. First of all, give kudos to our football staff. Woo, they've only lost one SEC game, and they've only lost to a team they should have lost to, right? So they beat one or two that they probably weren't predicted to beat, right? That's a sign of progress. As I sat and watched that Tennessee game, I can't enjoy sports like a normal fan because you're constantly learning. I'm watching the sideline. I'm watching players get this, you know, kind of frustrated and how are they handled on the sideline. I'm watching, you know, I'm just kind of like when you coach. And I thought there were only three plays in that game that as a coach I might have done differently. But I'm not a football coach, okay? I'd have put three points on the board, but they play in to win. I'm playing to go, that team is more talented than me right now, and if I can get points on the board, I'm doing it. So what do I know is what I'm trying to tell you. They're there every day. They know their team. I support them and their knowledge and analytics tell them what to do. Analytics doesn't tell me what to do. My eyeballs tell me what to do. So with that being said, we all probably would agree that Alabama's supposed to win the game, right? So I'm going to compare it to this and leave you with this thought. We all probably would have agreed in 2005 that LSU women's basketball was supposed to win the national championship and beat Baylor, right? That's why you play the games. See y'all.